you know it's time. Welcome back to another wonderful and just beautiful and just so exciting version of Veggie Mike Ellis on the YouTubes and Veggie Mike Ellis on Instagram. Thanks for joining me today. Please consider subscribing. And today I want to talk to you about vegans are so easily offended. Oh my God, it's so easy to offend vegans. What the hell is up with that? I mean, why do vegans get so offended when I say bacon? So um, I did do a video about what bacon is so funny uh, video. Um, this is sort of a twist on that. Um, it's just the idea of um, folks making jokes about oppression. So, um, and how funny that is. I mean, it's so funny, right? So, um, you know, I, yeah, you know, every vegan has kind of dealt with this, but if you're not vegan and you, you, th you want to make light, uh, sometimes people I think do want to just make light of a serious situation and, and it's serious and, and it's awkward. And so they do just, they want to be light. So I think there's some of that going on. But most of the time, it's like, you know, when it's on social media, it's really just people trolling to a point, right? There's a little bit of that going on, right? And they're literally just trying to get people worked up. And they know that we'll get worked up. They are, they know that, that they'll push our buttons. And why do we get upset, right? So if you're non-vegan and you want to know why, here's some insight, right? Um, why do vegans get so upset? Why are we so easily offended? So first of all, um, I can't speak for every vegan in the world, right? Um, we all we come in all shapes and sizes. We're simply standing against oppression, okay? So against uh, you know innocent sentient beings that have there's no reason to eat them, right? There's, there isn't. There's there's no there's no reason. Um, <laughs> so why are we so offended? Okay, so if there was a forum, say, or a group that was against dog fighting, there are people that are against dog fighting, right? And they said, you know what, this is this forum is you know about being against dog fighting. You know, having dogs fight to the death for people to enjoy, to to because they love it. They like to. It's fun, right? You get to watch the dogs fight to the death, and that's fun, right? No, it's not fun, right? It's it's horrific, right? Okay. So, would you agree that dog fighting is wrong? Okay. So, if you had a forum about that and people got on and made jokes, oh, jokes. If you want to call them jokes, right? Uh, 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 making fun of the people trying to stop dogfighting. Um, they would just be, what? They would be barbarians, wouldn't they? If, if you had a human, you know, an anti-human trafficking group and they were against human trafficking and then somebody came on and made fun of the fact that they're fighting against human trafficking, what kind of person does that, right? What kind of piece of crap, right? Okay, but somehow it's socially acceptable to make jokes about horrific suffering of animals, right? It's socially acceptable and it is. It, in our current society, it is socially acceptable to, to make fun of horrific suffering, you know, slash of, slashing of babies' throats. I mean, that's what's actually going on. I know that the people who say it aren't consciously making fun of babies' throats being slashed, but that's what they're doing. When you're non-vegan and you're making fun of vegans for being too, oh, they're so extreme, or why are they so offended, you're making fun of babies' throats being slashed. I mean, that's what you're doing. You're, make, you're making fun of horrific cruelty. You're making light of horrible suffering and screaming. I mean, you could just go watch the slaughterhouse footage. I know you won't. If you're non-vegan, you don't want to watch the slaughterhouse footage. I don't want to watch the slaughterhouse footage, right? Who the hell wants to watch slaughterhouse footage? It's horrible, but that's what's going on. It's called reality. So vegans are offended by oppression. We're offended by, and even worse, the people who are causing unnecessary horrific suffering, right, of innocent little babies. They're, they're, they're literally, babies, their throats are being slashed right now as I make the video in the thousands and thousands and billions every year and trillions if you count sea life, right? Why would we be so offended by that? What, what, why are we so offended? Because right now there's babies that are having their throat, they're hung upside down and the throats are being slashed. And then people have the nerve to think it's funny. That's why we're offended by suffering. If you make joke and make fun of my hair, you can make fun of my hair. You think my hair's dorky or whatever, or you, you want to say I'm effeminate. I've heard that one because my hair's long and I'm effeminate. By the way, it's a compliment. I, I think women are awesome. So if you call me, if you say I'm like a woman, I take it as a compliment. Um, you can make fun of my clothes, fine. You want to make jokes about things that are make sense to make jokes about, fine. You want to make fun of my singing, fine. You know, you want to make fun of horrific suffering of innocent beings that don't need to die while we're causing world hunger by the way it's now people are dying for this people have to die i'm not exaggerating it's it's the logistics of food production people have to starve in order for us to eat animal products in our privileged thrones while we sit here 
and we eat animal products, people have to starve in order for that to happen because it's so inefficient to produce animal products that we're growing all this feed and we're feeding it to the animals, billions of animals, and we could be feeding people. And so we're causing world hunger, horrific climate devastation, horrific injustice to animals, and you want to make a joke about it, and then you wonder why we're offended. That's why. That's why. We're just offended by horrific suffering. And you don't, you're too, and, 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 you know, I don't want to say you, 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 and attack anybody personally, but you need to know to be ashamed of yourself, right? If you're going to make jokes about it, understand that you shouldn't, and you should be ashamed of yourself. Know enough to be ashamed of yourself. Like, if you're not going to go vegan, at least know enough to be ashamed of yourself. Just like racists look around before they make a racist joke, right? They look around. They know enough to look around. They know to be ashamed of themselves, don't they? Yeah. If you're going to make, if you think it's funny that babies have their throats slashed and, and the chicks in the egg industry are ground alive in the billions every year, and you think that's funny, you're a sociopath, you know. Most people aren't sociopaths, by the way. You're just not actually facing your demons, you know. I'm not saying you're a bad person if you're living non-vegan. You just haven't faced your demons, right? But if you haven't faced your demons, at least have the decency to be ashamed of yourself, right? Have the decency, you know, have the decency to, to understand that we just want to stop the violence. We just want the violence to stop. Enough is enough, isn't it? Yeah. Not trying to be a dick here. But this is why we're offended. You know? Make fun of me. I'll laugh at all kinds of stuff. I've been doing comedy for years. Decades. I've been doing comedy uh, parodies. I wrote a play, a com comedy play. I, I, the list goes on. I'm not saying I'm some, you know authority on comedy, but I know what's funny, and, you know, horrific suffering is not funny, and so we're offended. Sue me. Just go vegan. Thanks.